Hey guys, Rob here. Um, I've got a little Photoshop tutorial for you guys now. Um, one thing that I seem to have uh, happened to me a lot in Photoshop is when I'm bringing in new layers, like what I'm doing here, is trying to align the new layer that I've brought in with the bottom one. Um, so what I'd like to do now is just show you quickly how you can uh, very easily, using the, uh, the powerful um, tools inside of Photoshop, just align your layers. So this layer here, I've just brought that in. You can see it's just off, and if you're wondering quickly where this is. Uh, this is the Sydney International Passenger Terminal, so fantastic photography location. Um, but I've just brought this, la this layer in, and as you can see when I turn that on and off, it, um, it sort of jumps up. So we want to try and line these up. So what I'm planning on doing with this is sort of um, masking in the, uh, the water here. Um, so the, the main way of doing this is to make sure that both layers are selected. Now, it's not going to work when I show you this first time, but I'm doing that for a reason. So we want to make sure we select both layers. So I'm going to select the layer that I've just brought in, as well as the, the bottom layer that I want to align it to. So I'll hold down the Command on the Mac or Control on the PC and click, and you can see that they're now both highlighted. So now that they're both highlighted, means they're both selected. And all I need to do now is come up here to my menu and go to Edit. And then down to Auto Align Layers. However, you can see there that it's actually greyed out and I can't actually select it. I can click that, but the cows come home and unfortunately, nothing's going to happen. You're probably thinking, well, why is that? Um, it's quite simply, it's this little icon over here, which means that this, anytime you bring in an image, and you might have seen this uh, little icon before, but anytime you bring in a, a new layer into your Photoshop document, it's going to come in as a smart object. Now, smart objects are a whole another kettle of fish. Um, very, very helpful, um, except for this case. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to right-click on that layer. So just over the side here, and I'll click on the thumbnail. just want to come over here and right-click. Uh, I'm going to go rasterize layer and what that'll do is as you can see that now converts that just to a normal layer so it's no longer a smart object and then I can come down here I can again um, command or control select so now I've got both those layers selected as you can see they're sort of highlighted in blue there um, and now I just come up to edit and come down and you'll see now that that's black so I can now select it so auto align layers and I get this pop-up menu now the main one that I always use is the auto, and it gives you a bit of a description here of um, what it does. If you find that auto doesn't quite align well enough, maybe go through and try perspective, um, or this one here, I'm not even going to try and pronounce it at the moment. Um, one of these three will usually, usually work more than likely, it's the auto. So I've got auto selected here, I'm going to go OK. You'll see it's loading, it's doing its thing, and it's just moved down a little bit. So now, if I turn that layer on and off, you can see that that's now perfectly aligned with the bottom layer, uh, and I can now come in and start masking in um, this uh, the uh, the water down here. So I hope that's helped. It is a it is a common little thing that we do in Photoshop is trying to align layers we bring in. So hopefully hopefully that's helped. Um, and I'll see you guys uh, in the next Photoshop tutorial or video that I do. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Ta. Bye.